have one little bit of mechanical business uh, left undone with Moby and that's to set the ignition timing correctly. I did it um, the basic way which is statically which essentially is you just you line up the engine mechanically um, you get the, the piston up to uh, its top dead center its highest point where it's supposed to be uh, when the um, the ignition or near as, as possible to um, where it's supposed to be at the point that the uh, spark plug uh, ignites and you the cam would have been timed up with that um, so that's how the, the timing belt uh, timing would have been done um, so that's rotating at this end and at this end the distributor uh, rotor arm is, is rotating and all you do then is um, move this backwards and forwards to get a spark to come through the, the spark plug um, at that time so that's it, it's a very rough thing just to get a car going um, but there's a much more precise way to do it and that is to use a timing gun so I just got this from uh, mixgarage.com and uh, I've never had one before so this is going to be great to have one um, because it really means I can do another step in terms of uh, tuning my cars correctly so it's basically a, a strobe light and it powers up from the car you take power from the the battery positive and you then connect up to a negative an earth point I'll take a quick look at the instructions because uh, in the books I've checked they, they all uh, say to follow the, uh, the manufacturer's uh, setup so I'll, just in case there's an order to this I'll check it out well there's nothing particularly odd in there um, I can pretty much set this up as assumed um, can connect to the this can go to the battery as well so I don't need to splay all this out um, need to have my distributor loosened This then goes on to number one spark plugs lead and there's a direction arrow on it. And this is able to sense the point where the that spark plug is igniting and then lights the strobe in the light here and I'm able to point that at the timing marks down here. First I rotate the engine so I get my timing mark around. And I'm going to do it the old school way and use a little bit of correction fluid to mark the, uh, the timing marks to highlight them so that I can see them easily. In order to get a, a straight view at it, I'm going to actually remove the, um, the grill from Moby. And I can get a line of sight straight through here. Moby is already warmed up so when I turn the key uh, it should idle at uh, uh, around the correct uh, RPM. Um, it doesn't have a, um, uh, a rev counter so I can't check that exactly but it sounds pretty good. And the other important thing I must do is disconnect the vacuum advance. So that's this one here. And I need to put a little screw or something in that to block it. It looks like my static timing is about perfect, so um, I guess uh, hence that's why uh, Moby's been running so well uh, over the last while. Um, but uh, that's that's brilliant to be able to, uh, to test it and be reassured um, uh, that he's working well.
I'll mark it as it is, and then I'll uh, adjust it over and back so that you can see what way it influences the, the timing. Disconnect all that. Really handy tool to have. I must tighten the distributor, put on the vacuum advance again, and I can uh, continue to enjoy Moby. <laughs> He's been doing great work lately recycling and uh, we also uh, collected a, a Christmas tree we're gonna use one that you replant uh, every year I must put this uh, timing belt cover on stop any stray stones causing expensive damage using the strobe gun gives me a little bit of a flashback of some of the fun myself and Avalo had in the garage during a brief period while the, the garage was empty <laughs> <laughs>